We're gonna go to a special place right now though. If you guys know, all haunt season we hung out in Kmart Alley on a bench. Me and Sammy would go and chill in Ghost Town. We're gonna head over right now. Guys, they took away my bench that you can't see because it's too damn dark. Sucks, man. It sucks. <laughs> What is going on ladies and gentlemen, this is the Knights of Horror here. We are at the Taste of Knots uh, food festival. Now you're going to see a lot of footage from uh, my channel and Eddie Tamas channel. Probably a lot of the same footage. Just going to insert it in. But we are here, Taste of Knots. Good to be back home. Of course with Knots Scary Farm being cancelled this season, we're not going to probably be able to come down here unless they do a Halloween time taste event. Then we'll be down here. I'm hearing rumors. I like rumors sometimes if they're true. So we, we shall see. Rob is here. We're gonna meet up with Rob, uh, hang out, do some taste. It's gonna be cool. I'm here with my dad. We're here doing some taste, uh, walking through Ghost Town right now. It's not the same without the fog, but can't all be uh, winners in life. So stay tuned. We got some more taste coming. Hope you guys are enjoying right now, and we will see you guys a little bit. Uh, we got our first item already. This one is called the Louisiana style beef sausage on a hoagie bun, and this is what it looks like right here. Looks pretty damn good if you ask me. Uh, so I'm gonna throw some ketchup on this and we are going to see what it's like, man. I'm, I'm excited to try this, man. Let's see what this is like. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Really juicy. Bread's pretty good. Bread's toasted a little bit. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I approve. And we're gonna go see the rest of the park, and we'll try. Uh, we got more options to try, so uh, stay tuned. We got more to try. Got the uh, garnita fries here. These look pretty good. I also got the uh, chicken and waffles here with the boysenberry uh, like honey or something like that. I'm gonna try these garnita fries. They drenched it with sour cream, so I like that. Hey, Rob. <laughs> They're pretty good. Carnitas. These are the uh, chicken and waffles again. Uh, I've never had chicken and waffles together, even though I know it's like a famous thing. Uh, so let's see what it's like. Uh, this is like a chicken strip. Uh, let's see what it's like. It's not bad. It's got like a sweet. It's like a sweet taste. Try that. It's actually pretty good. Take a bite. Pretty good, huh? That's got grilled chicken in it. 
This is um. Boysenberry breaded chicken tender on a waffle with fire honey. Oh, good. Pretty good. So it's breaded with like actual hits, hits and boysberry. Yeah, they, they flavor the, the breading. I mean, that's not like a cheesy nugget. That's like chicken in there. Yeah. Well, not just famous for the chicken. What's up, guys? I got the uh, is it, uh, assorted boysenberry beer. Uh, I'm going to give it a sip and see how it is. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It tastes like a blue moon, like I said. Um, I don't really taste any blue boysenberry. It's okay. Is it bitter? Want to taste? Let's see. Take a taste. You know beer better than I do. Tastes like a blue moon. It's bitter. Bitter. It's bitter beer. I don't really taste. Oh. I don't taste it any might boysenberry. Be a bit sweeter than. Yeah, it's uh, decent. That? I would. I definitely wouldn't pay for this, but I'd uh, for free. Uh, this is the waffle with the fire honey. So uh, it's supposed to be spicy honey? Or, or, uh, or uh, syrup? Whatever fire honey is, we'll try it right now. Is there a spice to it? A little bit. That seems to be the theme. Sweet and spicy. Right. Good thing. I like it. My ex-girlfriend was like that. I'm gonna buy this now. This is pretty good. Uh, waffle right here. Two for sure. This is just day one. We're coming back again tomorrow, but it'll be one video. But we're gonna try new things tomorrow. Give you an idea of what they offer here. I still got one more taste. So pretty good stuff here, guys. Uh, we got one more tasting. Then we're done with day one. We'll be back tomorrow for day two. Stay tuned. All right, what's up, guys? For the final dish of tonight, we got some uh, funnel cake fries. It's legit French fries with uh, powdered sugar on it, and it comes with this strawberry dipping sauce. Uh, if you guys don't know, Knotts is extremely famous for their funnel cakes here, so uh, I'm curious to see how these are. Let's let's see what they are like. Not too bad. That's pretty good. Not better than a funnel cake, but they're still good. Pretty good, guys. All right, guys, the actual final item of tonight is the, uh, which one is this? Brisket sandwich, I wanna get the full name. The slow smoked brisket sandwich with barbecue sauce and cabbage slaw. There it is right there. This is the final one for day one. Um, let's just dig right into it. See if it's any good. The bread's already nice and soft. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this one. Put like four pieces of brisket in there. They're pretty good. The brisket is very easy to chew in. Nice and tender. Yeah, nice and tender, it's good. That is day one. Tomorrow we'll try more things. See you guys then. All right, guys, so this is the tater tots. I always forget these names, man. Tater tots topped with barbecue marinated pulled pork, chipotle ranch, and cheddar, ch cheddar? Yeah. cheddar cheese. Uh, this looks delicious. About to dig into this right now. This is day two, by the way. Uh, let's let's see how these are, man. This is a good start right here. Pretty good. Let me try some with pulled pork now. These are really good. Actually, when I was here yesterday, I know a couple people told me to try these. So I had to make sure I tried them today. But uh, very good stuff. Really good. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Good stuff. 
All right, what's up guys? So we just picked up the uh, Homestyle Mac and Cheese. I'm a huge Mac and Cheese fan. This was in the Boardwalk area. Um, this is one of the things I wanted to try today. I put, haven't put breadcrumbs and some extra cheese on there, so let's give it a taste. Tastes pretty good. Um, macaroni and cheese always, can't go wrong with macaroni and cheese. It's actually really good. I also bought a Sprite, I was getting thirsty. Can't go wrong with a nice soda on a hot day, even though it's probably horrible for you. So I'm gonna eat this, but pretty good stuff right here. About everything I tried is okay, not too bad. But uh, yeah, we're gonna taste this, and then we got uh, two more tastes after. So let's see what we get. All right guys, I got me a uh, Michelada here with uh, Modelo. Pretty good so far. It's pretty good. Good stuff here. Um, I'm a big fan of these drinks anyway, so I make these all the time at home. This is really good. Uh, I like this a lot. Like I said, I make these all the time at home, so these are really good. Interesting with Modelo though. Try those uh, meatballs in the front. What's up guys, got the uh, Unicorn Icy. It's blue uh, raspberry, blue raspberry, uh, cherry, orange Fanta, and it's got some lemonade in there. So uh, definitely trying this one. It's pretty good. It's really good actually. This is uh, really refreshing right now, especially because it's kind of hot right now. Um, yeah. Not a fan of the paper straw though. I will say that. Other than that, it's actually really good. Looks like you got more orange than I did. Oh wait, no, there's my orange right there. It's a good mixture of ices. It reminds me of like going to the movies and then like getting all the different color ices. An icy mix, pretty good. Good hot day refreshment.
And like that you're using turtle hard shell auto wax for your surfboard. That's such good stuff. Can we have a slip on it? No, he's trying to make sure that Lucy's he's not pulling away the football. Just like Gavin Newsom keeps pulling away going back to normal. She's not out on the way. Alright guys, I got the my last one for today. The final day we're here at Taste of Knots. This is the mango cider. Uh, yesterday I had the boysenberry beer and we had the uh, michelada today. Today is this the mango cider. Let's give it a sip. Not too bad. Um, reminds me of like the dry mangoes that you eat. It has that kind of taste. Pretty good though. So, all right, guys. So, as you guys can probably tell, I'm not at the park anymore, but. That was Taste of Knots. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We went for two days and uh, loved every minute of it. This was a cool event. I hope they do the same for like Halloween and Christmas. Uh, that would be really fun. But if you guys like this video, hit that like button and the subscribe to be aware every time we put up a new uh, video uh, with that bell notification, obviously. Um, this was a change of scenery from what you guys are normally used to seeing on this channel. But I felt it was probably necessary to do something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys real soon.